Now, we're hearing more compelling sound from court as a local man learns his fate in a Mother's Day killing. It's a story that we've been tracking for two years now, and today the victim's estranged husband is sentenced for murder. Eyewitness News reporter Jared Pliner is in the newsroom with the details on this very emotional ending. If there was one thing palpable in court, it's this family's turmoil, struggling, trying their very best to move forward. A daughter devastated by grief flashes out at the Thursday sentencing of her mother's murderer. <laughs> 22-year-old Olivia Walmsley shouting at 46-year-old Robert Bathia just after he admitted to fatally stabbing his estranged wife, 41-year-old mother of two, Shalina Marino, in her Central Falls apartment on Mother's Day 2014. Her now nine-year-old daughter was there during the murder. Marina's father spoke directly to Robert Bathia. If there's one question I would like to ask you, Robert Bathia, is why? Why? My heart is filled with death for you. However, my mind says this is not with Shalina Marie, and you know being a forgiving, compassionate person would have won. The state had charged Bathia with domestic murder before pleading it down to second degree. Bathia turned with a quivering voice to the gallery. Just want to say, uh, I'm, I'm sorry. Outside court, John Whedon wanted to turn the public's attention to the plague of domestic violence. I'm speaking out because my daughter Shalini can't speak out anymore. And I hope that others who've experienced this type of situation or in the middle of it, recognize the importance of the warning signs, get help, get out. Love don't mean that. And the family tells us Marino's now nine-year-old daughter remains in the custody of the state. They desperately want to be reunited with her. And as for Robert Bathia, the judge imposed a life sentence upon him in the ACI. He'll be eligible for parole at some point. I'm Jared Pleiter, Eyewitness News.